Hey everyone, this is Riddle Huck or AJ Raven, and I'm back with my recap and review of Gloss season number three, episode number two, which is titled Muscle and Flow. So this episode opens up with Desna and her crew coming back to Palmento and they got back their salon. So they're happy about it. So now they have the salon to take care of. Then there's the entire money laundering situation through the salon. And then there's also the casino. Now, I liked how the episode opened up with uh, uh, when they were showing each of the characters, they had their character names underneath them. So that was a fun little thing that I liked. Now in the salon, Desna is quite happy. Again, she's happy. She's like, we are back. We are going to handle the love stones. We are going to be proactive in the casino. We are going to keep an eye on them and yada, yada, yada. It was fun. And even Jen had this little line, a comedic line about how she Googled how you run a casino. And apparently it's very easy to do so. So yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. It's good. So uh, Uncle Daddy comes in and he wants a license for his pill laundering business. And Desna is like, yeah, now's the time. I like Uncle Daddy is basically begging her and she is enjoying the moment. So she wants uh, like 1K a month if uh, if he like wants to, if he wants the license and then maybe 3K a month or 5K a month if he wants to launder the money through nail artisans, the nail salon, it's it's fun. So uh, yeah, Toby on, on the other hand isn't happy to see how Uncle Daddy is being treated, and I'm like Desna, you don't know. Toby's a murderer. You need to. He, he already tried to kill you. He ended up accidentally shooting Virginia. You need to be careful, okay? So Uncle Daddy and Toby go out and they meet Roller, and Uncle Daddy tries to talk to Roller, and Roller is like, I don't want to talk to you. You're dead to me. And Toby actually stands up. Uh, uh, in front of uh, Roller and he's like, you need to respect your uncle because your uncle loves you. And Roller is like, you need to put a muzzle, muzzle on Toby. And yeah, Toby is crazy. Again, he's a murderer. He got Clint killed and yeah. Yeah, they need to be, be careful. I, I'm not even sure what he might end up doing. Yeah, so Roller is like, until you tell me what really happened to my parents, I'm not going to talk to you. So he goes to Desna and he tries to, again, uh, like he's clearly in love with Desna and he wants to be with her. And Desna is like, I don't have any time for this. So I'm going to figure out what to do, uh, what to give you uh, to help me with running the casino. So over at the casino, the Love Stones aren't happy to see Desna and her crew in the casino. And <laughs> actually Melba, Love Stone, she bends a bit in order to be at quiet Anne's eye level. And I'm like, whoa. Whoa, she's crazy. So they introduce a new character, and his name is Joe. Apparently, he is some sort of a manager, a consultant. He, I'm not really sure what he, what he's up to, but he's very close to the Love Stones, and maybe he's an attorney. And uh, Desna introduces Polly as her manager, and these two end up uh, interacting. And he sees through Polly because Polly, when she's uh, show showcasing different personalities, she's actually quoting movies and uh, TV shows and whatnot. And Joe is able to see through all of that. So yeah, the Mel uh, the Love Stones aren't happy, and they're like. Like we need to keep these, uh, we need to keep Desna and her crew so busy that they can't figure out what's actually happening in the casino. So over at uh, Doctor Ken's, uh, Ken and Bryce are talking uh, about Polly and Ken's relationship issues, and Bryce wants Ken to give Polly some space, which we all know he won't be giving her. So Uncle Daddy comes in and he talks to Bryce and Uncle Daddy has the idea that not only are they going to give pills to the people, they're also going to rehab them, but they aren't going to do a proper rehab and they'll create the circle where the people get uh, where the people get their pills, they go to rehab, they come out and then they get addic addicted to pills again. So Joe ends up showing his, uh, Desna all of the surveillance system, all of the cameras and whatnot. So uh, Desna notices that uh, these two, uh, actually Anne notices two Mormons coming into the casino and she calls Desna and Desna notices them on the security footage and she is like, yeah, I need to see what all of that's about. 
Uh, however, before she can do anything, because the Lovestones are going to keep Desna and her crew busy, they end up sending other people. And also Virginia needs help at the salon uh, because she can't get the alarm to shut, uh, shut down. And Desna notices uh, the Lovestones talking to the Mormons and yada, yada, yada. So she goes and walks towards the love stones in order to see what's up and they don't actually say anything. Uh, anyway, before she can actually, uh, before she can ask more questions, a fight breaks out because there's going to be a bodybuilding contest, to go, a contest going on and the participants are staying at the casino. So there's a fight and uh, the Mormons uh, use that as a distraction to walk away. However, Desna is able to capture a picture of them. So I guess that will uh, come into play later as the series progresses. So yeah, Desna, Desna tries to break up the fight. And again, uh, and again, Virginia calls her. She still can't figure out how to, uh, how to shut down the alarm system. And Desna has had it because she's trying to tell uh, Virginia the code, but she can't put it incorrectly. So she calls uh, Quiet Anne and Quiet Anne is able to break, down, uh, break up uh, the fight. So over at the salon, the police have arrived and Dean has the scene where he tells a white policeman to not come near him because he knows that uh, cops shoot black people. And, and the white cop actually says that my partner is black and that has to count for something. And his partner gives him a look, which I was like, yep, it makes sense. So Desna comes in and she tells the police officer that she, she has it handled and the police officer is like, I'll send you a bill. And Desna is like, wow. So anyway, she talks to Virginia about how she wants her to handle the salon on her own and yada, yada, yada. And even Dean tells Desna that she, did, that she should have written the code down so other people can use it. So Jen uh, and, uh, comes to the salon. However, before she's able to go in, her, her ex-boyfriend uh, is at the premises who's actually Brianne's biological father. AJ, I guess his that's his name. And AJ wants to meet Brienne and be part of the family. And yeah, Jen, Jen has a lot to think about. So Toby comes in for a manicure and he is, yeah, he's kind of worried because again, he tried to kill Desna. He ended up shooting Virginia and he overhears Dean wanting to capture the killer. And Desna is like, Dean, there's nothing, there's nothing for you to worry about. We've had it handled. So I need you to stop with those revenge fantasies and I need you to find a new hobby. So Polly is snooping around uh, and she enters uh, Joe Debris' uh, office. And, and Joe is there too. Yeah, Joe, Joe. Joe is on to her, so it's interesting to see how that plays out. And Joe even tells uh, Polly about how close he is to the Love Stones, about how the Love Stones took him in after certain felonies. And uh, Uncle Daddy is having an exist existential crisis, especially because uh, Roller isn't talking to him. So he bumps into Virginia and Virginia, because of that eye that she got, she's able to sense that uh, there's a lot of stress on uh, Uncle Daddy and he needs to let it go. And Uncle Daddy is like, you know what, Virginia, I think it's time that I tell Roller. I, he actually doesn't say that, but you can tell that it's time for Uncle Daddy to tell Roller what happened. So over at the salon, uh, Yolanda, I guess that's her name, uh, the accountant for the Love Stones for the casino, she comes in and she tells uh, Desna that um, the Love Stones ended up transferring a lot of money to an account that's titled Trip. So now Desna needs to figure out who that trip or who or what that trip thing is. So uh, while she's talking to her crew, uh, Jen talks about how AJ wants to come back into Brianne's life. And Jen is having a lot of trouble because Jen understands that uh, due to Brianne being mixed race, yeah, uh, being a white parent, especially uh, with Bryce being white as well, she can't give Brianne an entire experience related to her culture and who she is. Over at Uncle Daddy's, uh, we see that he has called on Roller. And this is where we get to find out that apparently Bryce and uh, Roller's father used to beat their mother up. And she used to come to Uncle Daddy for a lot of help. And Uncle Daddy would uh, turn her away. Uh, however, one night, uh, one night she dropped the kids over at uh, Uncle Daddy's. And Uncle Daddy's drove, when, when Uncle Daddy drove the kids back to uh, their house, he found out that uh, their dad had actually he had he had killed his wife and Uncle Daddy in the fit of rage ended up killing 
their father. It was weird. It was a very emotional scene. Now, I'm not really sure how, if, even if it's the truth, but it's kind of nice to see Uncle Daddy opening up. And even Bryce tells Roller that he remembers, he remembers how his fa how their father used to beat up their mother. And Roller is like, you know what? You didn't help my mom. You could have saved her and yada, yada, yada. I'm still not talking to you. So over at the office, uh, Polly tells Desna about all of the things that these that love stones can't be trusted, and Joe is into weird stuff as well. So any roller comes into the office, and Polly is like, you know what, you guys, you guys talk. I'm going to go and snoop around. And roller wants Desna, and uh, especially after his talk with Uncle Daddy, and Desna is like, you know what, roller, I understand. So you do what you got to do. So over at the table, Jen and uh, Jen is talking to Melba, and Melba is trying to ignore her. So this new character by the name uh, Penelope comes in, and she wants a suite which is occupied. And Melba tells Penelope that the suite is occupied, and Penelope is like, you know what? Un I'll unoccupy the suite because I want it, or else I'll I'll tell Trip about it. So the name Trip actually alerts Jen about it, and Jen ends up calling Desna to uh, that uh, there's Penelope and there's something up with Penelope and yada yada yada. So the talk. Uh, so uh, uh, Jen and Desna decide to talk to Penelope, and Penelope is talking to them, uh, talking on a person on a mobile about how he's her baby's daddy, and she he wants him to step up, and yada yada yada. She wants her money, and Desna and Jen are trying to ask her questions, but then Melba and Mac comes in, and yeah, it's it's. It's weird, like you know that there's something up, even though we don't know what's up right now. So uh, Melba ends up walking Penelope away, and Desna again she tells Mac that she wants to be more involved in the casino. And Mac is like, you know what? If you want to be more involved in the casino, why don't you end up emceeing uh, the bodybuilding contest? And Desna's like, you know what? I'll do it. So uh, Polly decides to meet Ken and. Yeah, they break up. Polly is like, I'm not capable of loving anyone. I can't. I just can't. And yeah, they broke up. So over at the shop, uh, Jen is uh, trying to buy Brianne a doll. But Brianne is like, there isn't any black doll, black baby doll that I want. And yeah, that ends up, uh, yeah, that ends up making uh, Jen think of how Brianne would look like all grown up and how she wasn't able to give her more, especially regarding her race and yada, 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 and how Brianne would want to spend more time with her father. And I mean, I understand the way that they're handling Jen's story. I can understand that, even though I do think that Jen needs break from all of the drama. So over at the casino, uh, Desna tries to talk to Penelope again. And Penelope is like, don't you know about all of this? Why are you asking me? Don't you work with the Love Stones? And Desna is like, I do work with the Love Stones, but it's not like that. However, again, before she can get more information of, uh, from Penelope, Virginia calls, uh, the health inspector is here, and they need a new ventilator. And while Desna is trying to handle all of that, more people from the casino want uh, want her time from her and yada 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 and Desna's like I can't do none of this and I all and I need all of you to decide things on your own. I'm already too busy as it is. So shoo shoo shoo. She notices uh Desna note um, uh, when she turns around to talk to Penelope again Desna notices that Penelope is gone. However she sees the love stones talking to Joe and yeah, the Love Stones and Joe actually noticed Desna looking at her, and I was like, whoa. So she goes to the surveillance room, and she ends up uh, asking a favor from, uh, I guess it's a deaf, uh, yeah, a deaf bodybuilder, and she wants her to read uh, the Love Stones lips, and that bodybuilder is able to tell Desna that they're planning to kill someone, and yada, yada, yada. So, of course, Desna knows that they're planning to kill Penelope. So Jen ends up talk, uh, meeting up with AJ, and she tells AJ that she needs to ease Brianne into introducing him. Uh, how about monthly, single monthly visits, and they'll and uh, and it will be supervised, and they'll meet up at AJ's mother's house. And AJ is like, you know what? I have half custody uh, of Brianne, and it doesn't matter how many past felonies I have, and that ends up sparking a debate. 
an argument between AJ and Jen and AJ. Yeah, AJ wants her do his daughter back and yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to see Jen going through all of that. So Polly is snooping around at the Lovestone's office and uh, Joe enters and there's an entire conversation about uh, how Polly thinks that this painting was stolen by the Nazis and Joe is like, I painted it, you know what? And he reveals the safe and he ends up taking out the strap on. It's a weird conversation. And this is where uh, Polly notices that there's a picture on in the frame uh, with uh, Patel tree uh, running for Florida governor and his name is Trip. Thanks for the memories, love Trip. So uh, while all of that is happening, Jen and Bryce end up going uh, going to meet with AJ. And I mean, you already know, considering Bryce's history, that it's not going to end up well. And of course it's not. Bryce and AJ get into a fight. And Dwight or Dwayne, I'm not really sure what his name is. He ends up recording it. And of course, AJ is going to use that to fight Jen for Brianna, uh, Brianne's uh, uh, custody. So the, comp the bodybuilding competition is here. And Desna, is and Desna asks uh, Virginia and Quite and to come with her. And she tells them about how the Love Stones are planning to kill Penelope. And this is where Polly comes in and she, ta and she tells them about Trip. Uh, who uh, Trip is basically someone called Patel and is running for Florida governor. And Quiet Anne is like, that's the person my own brother is running against. So everything is coming together and you need to protect Penelope somehow. So yeah, uh, Desna is emceeing and yada, yada, yada. While she's doing this, Joe tells the Love Stones that he uh, found Polly snooping around in their office. And Melba is like, that's why I don't want these people here. Because the next thing you know, they'll find out that the tribe is fake as well. So, yep, they're in. Yeah, these people are liars. So Desna goes to Penelope and she tells and she warns her. And it takes some time for Penelope to actually be trustworthy of uh, be trusting of Desna, but she accepts. So it turns out that even though the show was fixed in order to help uh, Penelope win. Uh, Desna calls Penelope's name, but Penelope isn't there. And it turns out that Penelope, that White Anne rode, rode Penelope to her aunt's house, where she where she'll probably end up being safe. So over at the pill mill, we see that uh, Uncle Daddy is apparently trying to go legit, and now he wants uh, uh, to give proper rehab to these people. Which, yeah, I don't think how how long that's going to last. So Roller goes to meet Desna and Roller is like, D, I need you in my life. I've changed. I want to be with you. And Desna is like, every time I try to open my heart to someone, stuff happens and I can't have none of that right now. I want to focus on myself and keeping my goals safe. And Roller is like, D, you need to give me a chance. And Desna is like, you know what, Roller, prove it. So Desna goes to her gang and she talks about the love stones, the casino, how Penelope is safe and how they are going to figure out who Trip is and what he wants. And this is where she also tells um, Virginia that she's going to be promoted to salon manager and Virginia is happy about it. So yeah, apparently this, gov this governor, uh, this person who's trying to run for our governor of Florida is making some secret project and Desna needs information on that. And when they find that information, yeah, they're probably, they'll use it to run Florida basically. So yeah, Desna is quite happy with what she ended up doing these past few days. And she goes to the casino in her boss uh, attire and her boss attitude. And while all of that's happening, it turns out that Joe ends up meeting, uh, breaking into Penelope's house. And yeah, Joe is a murderer and he's going to kill Penelope. And I'm like, Desna, Desna, Desna. Because that, that scene where Desna was relaxing in her office, I was like, Desna, you still have a lot of trouble to deal with and and you are messing with dangerous people. So let's see what the love stones end up doing. I'll be doing a written review, review of this episode for the Geek Eerie. The link to that will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up. Let me know what you thought about Claw season three, episode number two titled Muscle and Flow. Let me know, I enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to see what happens next. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.